Valentine is coming, it might be a good time to learn a little bit about the science of love. When do you know if you fancy someone? What does love do to your brain chemicals and is falling in love just nature's way of keeping our species alive? We call it love, it feels like love, but the most exhilarating of all human emotions is probably nature's beautiful way of keeping the human species alive and reproducing. With an irresistible cocktail of chemicals, our brain entices us to fall in love. We believe we're choosing a partner but we may merely be the happy victims of nature's lovely plan. It takes between 90 seconds and four minutes to decide if you fancy someone. 55% is through body language. 38% is the tone and speed of their voice. Only 7% is through what they say. The three stages of love. Rutgers University is the state's proposed three stages of love, lust, attraction, and attachment. Each stage might be driven by different hormones and chemicals. Stage 1. Lust. This is the first stage of love and is driven by the sex hormones testosterone and oestrogen, both men and women. Stage 2. Attraction. This is the amazing time when you are truly love-struck and can think of little else. Scientists think that the three main neurotransmitters are involved in this stage, adrenaline, dopamine, and serotonin. Adrenaline. The initial stages of falling for someone activates your stress response, increasing your blood levels of adrenaline. This has the charming effect that when you unexpectedly bump into your new love, you start to sweat. Your heart races and your mouth goes dry. Helen Fisher asked newly love-struck couples to have their brains examined and discovered that they have high levels of neurotransmitter dopamine. This chemical stimulates desire and reward by triggering an intense rush of pleasure. It has the same effect on the brain as taking cocaine. Serotonin, and finally, serotonin. One of love's most important chemicals that may explain why when you're falling in love, your new lover keeps popping into your thoughts. Does love change the way you think? The brain mechanisms that cause you to constantly think about your lover were related to the brain mechanisms of obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD. Love needs to be blind. Newly smitten lovers often idolize their partner, magnifying their virtues and explaining away their flaws says new couples also exalt the relationship itself. It's very common to think that they have a relationship that's closer and more special than anyone else's. Stage three, attachment. Attachment is the bond that keeps couples together long enough for them to have and raise children. Scientists think that there might be two major hormones involved in this feeling of attachment, oxytocin and vasopressin. Oxytocin, the cuddle hormone. Oxytocin is a powerful hormone released by men and women during orgasm. It probably deepens the feelings of attachment and makes couples feel much closer to one another after they have had sex. The theory goes that the more sex a couple has, the deeper their bond is. Oxytocin also seems to help cement the strong bond between mom and baby and is released during childbirth. It is also responsible for a mom's breast of automatically releasing milk at the mere sight or sound of her young baby. Vasopressin is another important hormone in the long-term commitment stage and is released after sex. And finally, how to fall in love. Find a complete stranger. Reveal to each other intimate details about your lives for half an hour. Then, stare deeply into each other's eyes without talking for four minutes. Dr. Arun has been studying why people fall in love. He asked his subjects to carry out the above three steps and found that many of his couples felt deeply attracted after the 34 minute experience. Two of his subjects later got married. Thank you for watching the video.